Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Math 10C, Chapter 1, Lesson 4, revert, Review of Surface Area and Volume. Now, here, one last question before we get to the review. Calculate the area of the shape in square feet and square inches. So, that's 14 feet high by 6 feet. So, what's the area? Now, this is actually what we call a composite shape. It has two parts. It has a triangle and it has a square. So area of a square is length times width which is 6 feet square which is 36 square feet. So 36 feet squared and area of a triangle one half base times height. So this is one half. The base is six feet. Now what's the height? Well, if this is six, 14 minus six is eight. So it is one half, six times four, six times eight, sorry, or 24 feet square. That gives me a total of zero k to one sixty square feet. Now I need to calculate that in square inches. Okay. As we showed earlier, six sixty, my apologies. Doing the conversion, there's two ways to do this. You can convert it after, but you got a square or cube, your your conversions. Cube it's a volume. Or you can convert everything to inches beforehand. I'm going to do 60 square feet over 1. Now that is, let me see, two feet to inches, that's 12 inches. One foot. I have to square this. So, 60 times 12 squared, 6840. Sorry. 8640 inches, inches, inches squared, sorry. Now, like I said, doing this, uh, converting everything after, I find to be a little quicker. Yeah, but it's always to screw up. I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way. I'm going to double-check my answers. So, 6 feet. Let's see. So this is 72 inches, this is 72 inches, and the height is 8, 8 feet times 12 inches over 1 foot, 96, sorry, God help me, more, more coffee, Mr. Sutton. Yeah, you youngins just shut up, I can hear you laughing at me. Someday you'll be old like me and, and I'll just sit there and laugh and laugh at you and I won't remember why, but whatever. So, let's do it the hard way. Area of the, tri area of the square is length times width, which is 72 inches times 72 inches. 72 squared is 51184 one, inches squared. The triangle is times the height. We want to have the base is 72 inches. The height is 96 inches. 25 times 72. <coughs> Excuse me. 3, 4, 5, 6 inches squared. Add that to the original number. 8640. So we we keep getting 8640 regardless of how you do it. Which way you do it, I don't care. Whatever works for you. Whatever grows your weed or floats your boat or pumps your oil. Now, key ideas. The surface area of a right cylinder and of a right prism can be calculated using the area of the base, top and bottom, plus the lateral, 
lateral or side area. Be careful. I'm going to throw that word at you occasionally. Lateral. The surface area of a right pyramid and and of a right cone can be calculated using the area of the base plus the lateral area. Now, if it's a pyramid. This is a fancy formula talking about if the two sides are different lengths. We didn't do one of those. Poop, I'll do one of those next class. Now, the surface area of a sphere depends on the radius only. So surface area is 4 pi r squared. The volume of a right cone is found by calculating one-third of the volume of its related right cylinder, of its related. Now, this is something ta you talked about in um, grade 9. When you're getting to a cone or a pyramid, it's one-third the of the space of the original object. So, the volume of a right pyramid is found by calculating one-third of the volume of its related right prism. So the prism is length times width times height. The volume of a pyramid is one-third that. Now, the volume of spheres found by using the formula volume of spheres four-thirds pi r cubed. Okay. Now, we haven't, I didn't do an example of everything here because you should remember this from grade nine. And if I did an example of everything, I'd be here for an hour plus. Now, finally, if you know the volume of an object, you can calculate an unknown dimension. What is the height if the volume is this? Now, you can also solve problems requiring the conversion of area or volume within and between the SI and imperial systems using linear dimensions. So I expect you to be able to do unit conversion again. Now, that's it for me. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, good luck. Go do the check your understanding.